Oh, it's like Nutella. I kind of want to lick it. Hello, it's Alex, and I'm here today with Graham in his workshop. I've got a little game for you. Can you guess? And it's nothing exciting, don't worry. Can you guess what this car is just by looking at this mess? Because Graham's really made a mess here. <laughs> So there's no room for Jesse in this workshop, so we've nosed Jesse into the um, Allegro Club spare shed. Have you undone it yet? Yep. He's done it, he's it. I really couldn't get this track rod end undone. Graham's come along with a hammer and immediately done it. How did you do it? Should have brought a torch in with me. We can open it Oh, oh, oh. Oh look, I've got a split gator as well. So I've got a new one of these to fit and I could not get that undone and he's just come along and done it apparently with a rusty old spanner and a hammer. <laughs> so there we go, well done Graham. <laughs> the two essential tools of life. Yeah, a hammer and a rusty spanner. <laughs> Um, Don't you hit the side? Yeah. Well, the side of the uh, that bit, yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Graham's good with a hammer, isn't he? <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> yeah. So the track rod end. I keep calling it a ball joint. I mean, it is a ball joint, but it's not. He's counting. He's counting the amount of turns. So we turn the new one the right way, and hopefully, it won't put the track in out. Fifteen. Ooh, Fifteen. I'm not going to forget that. And I don't know if it's left hand thread or right hand thread, so you've got a choice of two threads sticking out of that one. I don't know if it's the right one. Is that going in? It is, yeah. Nice. That's good, I unwrapped the uh, the correct one first time. Is that right? That's right hand thread, isn't it? That's... Yeah. Is it the Normal. same length? It doesn't matter, does it? Does it matter? Yeah. It's got to be the same length. Should be. I got it from a Rover supplier. Another job I've got to do today is fit some anti rattle shims to the brake pads over here. Because they've been rattling for years and do my head in. So the new one is one turn longer, maybe. You think? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to get the tracking redone anyway, as long as it's near. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that because I brought mine down from your dad's. Oh, you've got a uh, tracking stuff. Some people just use a bit of string, don't they? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fifteen, and I reckon it's one. A little bit more. Yeah. Mm. You go for that then, yeah? Yeah. I guess you'll sort of know if it fits in the hole, because we didn't move that, did we? Oh, it does move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've moved it. we moved it now. <laughs> wow, look at that. Shiny. Have you got any grease we can put on it? It's quite greasy anyway. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I like lubing things. There's some grease next door if you want some more, aren't there? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> can I stick my finger in it? <laughs> you put the nut on. Now how am I going to get the grease on the thread? Well, I only put it on there because I've been pouring it off. <laughs> I'll stick my finger in. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> oh, it's like Nutella. I kind of want to lick it. Uh, there we go. 
<laughs> uh oh, I'm turning it. <laughs> you think that's good enough? I feel sad that that's rusty. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> Well, it looks clean under here since the winter. Looks like I didn't clean this bit of chassis properly, but uh, I'm sad that these nuts have gone rusty because all the nuts and bolts I could get from the local supplier I got in stainless, so they won't they won't rust. Uh -huh. But these I had to get from John Waring's because it's for these special bushes inside, uh, right, yeah. and they've supplied us with rustable nuts. So. I'm a bit sad about that, so I'm just going to put grease on them. <laughs> Make me feel better about it. Any excuse just to get my greasy fingers on some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds bad. Now <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're you. Oh. What? He's just stuck his finger in my grease. <laughs> You didn't even ask. Mine. I think that's my grease. It's your grease, but I was enjoying that. Okay, you can. Go I was going to stick my little finger in this time. <laughs> I can't believe you just shoved your finger in there. It's just not right, is it? I'm putting it in the right place, isn't I? Yeah. Oh, it's dark over here. Greasing in the dark. It's like OMD. <laughs> oh. We good? Is that. Is that greasy enough? Is it, it looks in? greasy enough to me. What greasy manoeuvres in the dark. What a me. <laughs> GMD. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely. Mm, nice. Look at this rusty spanner. What size is it? Foreign, isn't it? Three groats. <laughs> one and twelve thirteenths. Oh my god. Something. Yeah, one one slash sixteen AF. I don't know. <laughs> it fits, that's the important thing. One and one sixteenth AF. Wow. Ah. Uh, mm. In old money. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are with these poxy brake shoes. That's all I can hear. Going over blooming bumps is these shoes. Well, that's just that one for some reason. Just loves rattling in there. So I'm going to put one of these in, which is an anti rattle shim. I think I got it from Wadhams, maybe. Not sure. But um, I'm hoping these holes line up. Yes. And that is going to go and hopefully stop it rattling. You get a good view of the atrocious rust issue I have on the front wing here. But we'll ignore that for now. My friend Clive has told me that it's all fixable in regards to this. So he's going to shape me out a new piece one day. But it can wait for now. Um, I think you've seen me take these brake pads out several times. And you'd think by now I could get these R clips out easily. God, the amount of grease I put on these, you'd think they'd pop out easy. But the uh, winter salt really does take its toll. Come on, little fellas. Out you come. <laughs> See, this is the only thing about not working at home is I can't go and get my little pokey stick that I like to use. <sighs> Who put that in? I think I might have to get a screwdriver. Good God. Violence. Oh my God, I'm going to have to get new R clips now, look. Bent that one. I'm going home. Can't even get our clips out, Graham. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh dear. What's happened? I'm trying to pull it out the bloody pin and it won't come. I've bent it now. <laughs> <laughs> Are they 
they should come out easy. I've had them out recently. And the winter salt's got hold of it. I looks of it. Good God! <laughs> Dear me. What a mess. Oh my god, they do not resemble our clips anymore. Oh! I don't know if that come out or snapped. I think it snapped. <laughs> this is real life, ladies and gentlemen. I could edit this out, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, it looks like this pin is uh, stuck. Hmm. Absolutely buggered. Can't torch. Oh, Graham's lost his torch. Uh. I think I might need a torch, don't you? Oh my god. <sighs> I wish I had my pokey stick. Yes, I'm still trying. I got one of the pins out, thankfully. Get it out of the caliper. That's one. No, I managed to get the little arm clip out. Bloody thing. Can't believe it's so rusty. But this little pin in here is still putting up a fight. I think we might just have to snap it off and um, drill it out. I've got the drill out already. Because it doesn't want to budge. Oh, look. <gasps> Hallelujah. I think that's it. So I put these little spring and washer on to stop the pins from rattling. The pins were rattling. Oh, brilliant. It's coming out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here it comes. Yee. Yay. Come out there, you little bugger. <laughs> Violence. Oof. Go for that. Mm -hmm. There they come. Cool, look at that. I put grease on the back of that, you know. And it's all sort of washed off. Mm. That's the... Joy is a road sort, I guess. So it's good to service your brakes after a harsh winter. Put a smear of grease on those again. And then the anti rattle shim. Oh, pad goes in that way, so. Let's go just sit on there, I guess. Obviously, an easier way to do this, isn't there? <laughs> this has got to be the most rubbish how to video in the world. This is how not to fit anti rattle shims. on the bloody face. Nobody wants greasy brakes. Right, I managed to get it in there. It was a little bit of a fiddle. Um, but for some reason it's only this pad that was rattling. So these pads don't rattle. Lovely. Lovely. 
Now, where's those all clip? All clips gone. Some holes here somewhere. To get the torch up here. Oop. These are clips are a little bit small. I don't know if they're gonna do the job. Go on, you little buggers. Mm. Gosh, violence. Oh, I've got a whole box of art clips at home. Now, I'm having to use these silly little Allegro pins. Oh, I did it. Oh, it's on. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Graham's making lots of noise, isn't he? Where's the hole? For God's sake, I can't see the hole. It's here somewhere. There. Oh, that one just slipped on easily. Mmm. That's it, nothing is rattling in here. Hopefully, that will solve all my rattling issues. Fingers crossed. <sighs> 5,000 miles I've done on these blockly tyres. I'm very pleased with them. I feel like I should give these wheels a little wipe out. Disgusting. On the inside. They're only going to get disgusting again because I'm in Hereford. All the roads are horrible. Well, at least I've tried, you know. Another couple of jobs done. Thank God for that. I'm sure Jesse will find me some more jobs to do. <laughs> it's never ending with classic car ownership. Especially if you're using them daily. Mind you, the anti-rattle shims didn't need to be done. It was just annoying me they were rattling. Track rodding, yeah, that did need to be done to be fair. Um, the other little jobs I've got, uh, I want to change the oil, that's normal, I'll do that in any car. Uh, I've got an ashtray to fit, I don't know where that goes, but I only want it, I only want it to put coin, coins in. Um, and I've got some new rear shock absorbers to fit, but probably won't do that today. Weather's miserable. Graham's got his Mondeo and PCS. I should should really help him with that. But I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like working on cars I don't like. It's harsh, isn't it? Imagine if I was a doctor. I don't like him, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him his medication. <laughs> Probably something I do to be honest. Lovely. It's not going to fall off. This one's a stiff one to get on, hang. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing that needs doing on this side because this side doesn't rattle. But I've got the shims, so I might as well use them. As you can see, this wing is also suffering from rot. <laughs> I'll do it one day. 
I'll catch it before it goes too far up. <clears throat> oh God. Why am I making this so awkward? Come on. It's because, it's because the ground's not flat. Hey, you bugger. Okay. Oof. What are we doing over here? Surprisingly looks less crusty on this side. I don't know why. Hmm. Let's turn the steering so we can access it easier. Hmm. Right. Oh, the pin's gonna come out of this easily. <laughs> We can only hope, can't we? Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Magic. Oh, oh I got it out, but it doesn't look like an R clip anymore. Might be able to save it. I reckon it will live again. So this this side does rattle as well, so I'll definitely put the anti-rattle shims in. It's just the outer pads. They rattle. Does my head in. I'll just turn the music up louder to be honest. <sighs> Lovely. Right. Mm, I still didn't get a screwdriver, did I? And Graham has gone off to the uh, food wagon, hopefully, to get me some uh, fried egg rolls. Or at least a fried egg roll. Right, do you want to see me try and get this uh, anti-rattle shim in? <laughs> this should be fun. This is what I was doing. Just to keep the little blighter still. Stay there. Get the pad. I'm giving it a little wire brush off. Have some grease on the back. Come on, on, come along. No, 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 no. Oh, this is frustrating. As I say, there's probably an easier way of doing this. <laughs> Stay. Oof. Oh no. I think it's moved. <laughs> Is this a piece of my car? A bit rubbish, isn't it? That dirt on it now. God's sake. If, if somebody could tell me a nice way of doing this, I would really appreciate it. So if I ever have to do it again, I don't have to do this. Ow! Ah, bloody... Ah, oh, wheel studded to the kneecap. Ah. Oof. Ow. Come on, you. Come on. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, that is very annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Oof. Oh, this is looking good. Ladies and gentlemen. Gently, gently. Oh. Come back, come back, come back. Quick, Graham will be back with the walls. OMG. We did it. <gasps> the anti-rattle thing's in. Look at these eggs, look. That's all I'll eat is egg rolls. Egg rolls, egg sandwiches. Anybody would think I'm an anaconda because I only eat eggs. <laughs> I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning. I just realised the thing for the camera's there. It's in the way. Oh well. on the disc to make sure there's no grease on there uh, and I've gone around and just greased up some of the rusty nuts on show and I'm really glad I did because I found this nut here I've tightened it a bit now but this nut here was loose <gasps> that was um, the side I done in September I did all the bushes and everything so yes, a nut is loose there, so that's not good, is it? So I'm going to tighten that up. Everything else looks fine, thankfully. I've given it all a little bit of a clean in here, a little bit. I haven't gone mad, you know. But poor old thing, that wing really does need attention. Right, that's that wheel put back on now. Thanks for watching.